What is going on guys, Joe here, and if you are aware, Apple recently released iOS 8.1.2, and recently, as in today, as filming this video, um, they released this out of nowhere, it was unexpected, and I wanted to let you guys know that you're able to downgrade in case you did upgrade or update to iOS 8.1.2 on your iOS device. Now, this is only going to work, as I stated in my last downgrade video, while Apple is still signing the previous firmware. So like I said, if you did update your device to iOS 8.1.2 and you wanna go ahead and downgrade, uh, you can do so at this moment and you can actually find out with the links down below in the description, but I'm gonna walk you through on how to figure that out for yourself in the future whenever you're watching this video. But many of you guys are probably wondering why I'd even downgrade if you're always wanting to update uh, because it fixes bugs and things like that. Well, the major purpose for even downgrading and this current situation uh, is because you'll be able to still jailbreak on iOS 8.1.1. Now if you update to iOS 8.1.2, you're actually not able to jailbreak because of the latest jailbreak tool, which is Taiji. It's not compatible with iOS 8.1.2. Now the Taiji team may update in the future so it can jailbreak iOS 8.1.2, but at this current moment, there is not a jailbreak available for iOS 8.1.2. So if you do want to jailbreak, you will have to downgrade and there's a very easy way and that's what I'm going to show you today. If you did go ahead and update to iOS 8.1.2, don't worry about it, we can go ahead and downgrade. All you got to do is download the firmware iOS 8.1.1 and you can actually download it from this website. You can find the links down below, but it's ipsw.me. This website also even lets you know whenever that firmware is still being signed or if it's not being signed. So I'll be downgrading my iPod Touch 5th generation as you see here. I'm gonna look for that. I'm gonna go ahead and select that device. Once I select the device, I'm gonna go ahead and select the iOS firmware that I want to download. And it's gonna be iOS 8.1.1. Now you will notice at the bottom it does say sign. So that means Apple is still currently signing this firmware. So if you wanna do this, I recommend this do this ASAP because typically Apple stops signing firmwares after like a day or, or two or maybe just a few days. So I do this as soon as possible. Uh, if you do want to go ahead and jailbreak on iOS 8.1.1. So go ahead and hit download and download this firmware. Once that is completed, I already actually have this downloaded. We'll simply go into iTunes and plug in our device. And as you notice here, I do have iOS 8.1.2 running on my iPod Touch Fit generation. All we got to do is hold down the Alt slash Option key if you are on the Mac. Or if you're on Windows, hold down the Shift key. And while you're holding those keys down, go ahead and click on Check for Update. Be sure to click on check for update, do not hit restore. Once you hit check for update, uh, you'll go ahead and select the firmware wherever it downloaded to. I actually have mine downloaded to my desktop. So go ahead and look for that firmware, which is iOS 8.1.1. And we'll go ahead and click on that and hit open. And then it'll say if you want to update to iOS 8.1.1, which in reality we're actually downgrading. And once you do that, it's going to go through the process of verifying with Apple, with the Apple servers, if this firmware is still being signed. So as long as it's being signed, you'll be able to downgrade. And once it's finished, we'll actually be on iOS 8.1.1 now. And then that means that we're gonna be able to jailbreak once again. Now, if you wanna know how to jailbreak iOS 8.1.1, you can use it using the Taiji jailbreak tool. And I actually have a video that I did previously on how to do that, it's very simple. So go ahead and check out that video. I actually leave an annotation on the screen here and also a link down below of how to jailbreak iOS 8.1.1. But other than that, that's pretty much it. You'll now be on iOS 8.1.1. But anyways, go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video and if it did help you out. And also, if you're not yet following me on any of my social media, go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, all that good stuff. All of my links are down below. Those are gonna be the best way to contact me. I'm always active on Twitter and Instagram, so go ahead and follow me on those. If you have any questions or anything like that, and also, if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with all of my latest videos, including jailbreak videos and other tech videos and all that good stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching and hopefully uh, this helped you out. But other than that, I'll catch you all on the next video. All right. Peace.